Oh, all right. Well, here we are for our second game, which is popping with this. Um, we are playing as Charlie. If I understand correctly, that's actually uh, Delmar Leone, the uh, the Pro Tour champion. So my guess is that we're actually going to be playing as Splinter Twin this round, but who knows? Uh, we're going to go ahead and play first. Got him all in this hand. Can't cast a spell. <laughs> These townships are haunting me. Gavany is. Uh, I mean, Gavany is a haunted haunted town, if I recall correctly from the lore, but. Uh, it is an Innistrad, it's a very, very, very haunted place. But uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have to mulligan this one too. Assuming we get the option back. <sighs> little mulligan. Alright, we're keeping this one. <laughs> so, going to go get basic forest. I don't really have much reason to get islands in, in, in game one, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get a basic forest. We're going to play our bird. And island, which I'm going to go ahead and guess is representing you know, a twin, like I said. Hopefully no spell snare. There's a spell snare. Oh no, it's a thought scour. Okay. Oop. And there's a deceiver arc. Sorry. Well, I was correct regardless about what to expect. So he is clearly on twin. Serum visions, all right. I'm gonna be looking to collect some company myself next turn if I draw land. Getting bolted, perhaps? On the bird. What a jerk. <laughs> oh, yeah, go voice. The so double mulligan is going to need some quite a bit of help. <laughs> Polluted Delta, interesting. Is he playing Grixis twin? Or just maybe playing. Yeah, he's got apparently Grixis. Mm-hmm. Are gonna get thought seized or something? Is it murderous cut? Tassiger, oh god. I say. Alright, well Tassiger is certainly a problem here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we will cast this collected company now. But we are already in a bit of trouble. Um <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Um, unfortunately, none of this does too much to deal with this Tassiger. Um, I can Kitchen Finks and Flicker Wisp something. Maybe I'd rather give another Voice. Uh, voice is probably better than Kitchen Finks. I mean, I'm just gonna, just gonna gain a little bit of life with the Finks. Voice represents more you know, potentially large threats. Maybe Finks is better. This is tough. So like, how is this game going to play out? Uh, I definitely, I think I definitely want Flicker Wisp because it, at, at minimum, you know, keeps Pester Might at bay and potentially actually um, can start attacking. I can also potentially like, you know, angel my Flicker Wisp to remove something in response to, you know, Twin or something like that. Um, I think Voice is probably my strongest strongest option after that. Because Finks, yeah, Finks doesn't really feel like it's going to do anything, so I'll just take this and this and uh, we'll Flicker Wisp Planes. Oh, I should have Flicker Wisp Hallowed Fountain. I didn't, wasn't paying attention to the fact that I had Hallowed Fountain play, but you know, maybe he doesn't, he doesn't, uh, Splinter Twin here and just kill me. No, he's killing me. I, mean, I could have, like, said go, um, and not cast the company, but I don't think that that's really going to be a winning play there. Um, so I think I want, I want Pride Mage. 
let me think. Click is clearly good. Unified will is good. Um, your Mocus command. I think I probably want Eternal Witness. Don't think I want Sage. Um, Sage is seems pretty mediocre um, when you know they you, you, they're killing you at instant speed when they they use the thing. Um, Thinks seems kind of bad. Seems like my worst creature here. Blade Splicer seems pretty good. I don't know if I actually have enough room to actually fit everything I want though. Um, Flicker Wisp is pretty powerful with uh, Vendillion Click with Blade Splicer. Angel seems like it's pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot, not a lot of room to, to actually play around here. I feel like about the most things, maybe I don't want four witnesses, maybe I want like three witnesses. This will be play your sort of grindy game. Flicker Wisp is interesting here. So many cards I need to take out still. <laughs> this is what happens when you just kind of like build a deck and sort of put cards you think you might want in your sideboard and don't really, uh, don't really consider, okay, well, what do I take out for this matchup? What do I take out for this matchup? It's like, well, I already sort of in a position where I have a lot of stuff that I do want. And I have to admit that it's it's possible that he's going into you know con more control plan rather than a, uh, a combo plan because uh, it's generally a stronger play against a lot of um, you know, decks with 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 blue in particular uh, creature decks that have uh, those sort of control elements. Um, I definitely feel like I want company because I want to be able to play this in speed. Uh, I feel like I can't take paths out because I have to respect the combo. Um, Witness does seem like it's good in longer games, but. I mean, maybe I can't be playing that kind of game here. Maybe I need, do need to be like trying to put pressure on. But like witness plus unified will seems strong. Flicker wisp. <clears throat> maybe I cut like one flicker wisp, one witness. Maybe these aren't that good. I have to imagine I'm facing like pyroclasms or f fire spouts or something too. So, hmm. Maybe I only actually want one pride mage here. <clears throat> I think Dramokus Command is, is is good. Maybe Dramokus Command is worse. I guess maybe it's, it's gotta be better than Pride Mage. I don't know. You can use so many so many elements of it. Yeah, Dramokus Command has to be good. You can counter like Pyroclasm and stuff with it too. Maybe just play one Pride Mage. <laughs> now I have like now I have like only you know seventeen good hits with it. I mean I obviously can hit mana creatures, but oh god, I did did my time run out? Maybe I just didn't sideboard. That would be great. Hopefully it at least submits the thing that you last sideboard. I, th I thought it would be flashing red or something. <laughs> Shows how much I actually actually come close to the sideboard limit. Um, all right, well, we'll play first. And I guess I'm going to keep this hand. Um, still don't know if I'm sideboarded or not, but hopefully it submits whatever whatever you know configuration. I guess I couldn't submit that configuration because I had too many. So yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely not sideboarded. Nice. Oops. Jokes on you. Way more where that came from. So the weird thing about Collecting Company is that while it does let you play at instant speed, like you still don't want to play into like you know remand or counter magic in the early turns, like remand or mana leak. So I think it's still correct for me to just cast collected company right now. Um, and I think I want to get voice and eternal witness, bringing back company. Maybe get blade slice for eternal witness because more power. I think vo voice is probably better if he does pyroclasm me. I guess Blade Spicer is resist resistant to pyroclasm, but voice also just changes the way he has to play the game. Yeah, we're gonna have voice, and I think witness, witness, return company, or oh, never mind. Got to put these in the bottom first. Yep, and we will return company.
Hopefully I don't just get um, angered. There's Tassiger, okay. I'm just gonna path Tassiger. Do I want to collect a company? I think I do. Again, it's just like uh, the only thing that's bad for me off of this collected company is, or like that's bad is he like angers me on his turn, or, or just that I hit just a bird of paradise. That kind of stinks too. <laughs> that is a risk of collected company is just hitting, just hitting air. That is definitely one um, one element um, that is compelling. Well, I'm actually just thinking through it in my head and then just started talking as if I had said it out loud. Um, the amount of pressure that you put on with something like Geist compared to Blade Splicer. The Blade Splicer versus Geist like four versus six damage. Um, just the, sort of the clock that you put on. Um, Geist, you know, obviously hits a lot harder and uh, is resilient to removal, to most removal. Um, though I think is weaker. I think it's that's going to be a card that's stronger against any sort of combo type deck, whereas Blade Splash is a card that's, that's going to be stronger against any sort of creature based deck. Um, like in this sort of matchup, you know, if Mirror just play Turn 2 Geist off of mana creatures, like that's just really, really powerful. Puts your opponent, uh, you know, under a ton of pressure right away. But here, you know, I didn't even have the option to play Turn 2 Blade Splicer anyway. Seaver Exarch. Okay. Explosives on one. Okay. Blow up those. Okay, well, this really makes my uh, main phase thing very weak. Um, I guess I'm going to witness back my path and hope I don't die on his turn. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just sort of assume that he's not playing the combo and just witness back company. Because I'm actually in a position where like I actually can't, I can't just, well, no, actually pathing that is actually still pretty good. We'll witness path pack. Yes. Play this and say go. I could have just pick, played that and played voice, kind of like present it as if I didn't have path, but I think you just go for it anyway. If you just had it. Click. Alright. Well. I want my path back. Can Flicker Wisp one of my witnesses and get back Collected Company? I don't have a path in my yard right now, so. I mean, if, if, if he had. Uh, if he actually had Splinter Twin in his hand, he would have just cast it last turn rather than casting Click and taking my path. So there's no, uh, there's, there's, it's unlikely that he has to die on his turn. All right, so the Flicker Wisp. I'm not gonna attack. Nothing can get through. Triggers, witness triggers. Colagon's command on Flickerwisp. 
What's going on? Uh, two damage, I discard a card. Okay. Give me an elemental, and I discard this. Okay, I will return Collected Company. Okay, yes. That was kind of strange to me. You just killed my... F What's even happening? I think it was... I'm very confused by that. He literally killed my Flicker Wisp? Is he... Is he casting, like, Fire Spout? I, don't, I really don't understand what just happened. He killed my Flicker Wisp and made me discard a Voice Resurgence, giving me an Elemental. I still got this back. Snapcaster, okay. Oh, he's just trying to empty out my hand so he can use the Cold Events. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Maybe I shouldn't have played my land. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't thinking about Coal God's Command, Snapcaster, Coal God's Command. I just want to have enough mana to like, you know, like play things. And I just kinda of got kinda of got wrecked by Coal God's Command there. That was kinda of sweet. Um, so I can't really I can like attack with both of these. And like one of them gets through, I guess. Like you could block here and block here and then both of these die, actually. But I get, I get new a new voice token. Is that even good? Keep I attack here and here. No. This dies, yeah. No, this dies and I get another voice token. This doesn't die. I just have two voice tokens and no voice. But I have no cards in hand, so I don't really care about my voice all that much. And he has a million mana. Yeah, I think it's just best for me to just attack like this. Like I can trade here. Okay, or he just yeah. If he blocks here, okay, he just takes two. That's fine. And I guess I keep this in my hand to protect myself from Colagon's command. Uh oh, he top topped. That can't be good. Probably means I'm just dead. I'm not gonna block. I want my witness in case I draw a flicker wisp or angel. If I scoured me. I was going to draw a Flicker Wisp, what a jerk. Not that it would have done anything, but... Electrolyze, okay. Blade Splicer's pretty good. Yeah, this game's got, literally if I didn't play that Razor Ridge Thicket, I might win this game because I would have had the Collected Company. But I apparently needed to play around the Colagon's Command into Snapcaster Colagon's Command. Which certainly wasn't on my mind. I, mean, I hadn't seen Colagon's Command from his deck at all. I, mean, I suppose it's a reasonable thing to think my, a, a Grixis deck in this format uh, might be playing. It's a pretty popular card, at least in the Grixis Delver decks, but, you know, Grixis Twin, kind of less of a, of a common card. I'm at seven. We're both at seven here, so this is actually a pretty precarious spot. He did top top with his with his serum visions. I'm surprised. Like, I mean, he then he serum visioned. Um, he serum visioned and electrolyzed into whatever it was he put on top. So, because I mean, like, or thought scout rather, thought scoured me, drew the electrolyze, electrolyzed my guy. So he had both of the things. So apparently neither of them is player turn because I would be dead. So maybe it's maybe it's in like a cryptic command. Maybe that's what he's debating. Oh, bolt. Okay. That's a good card. 
Do I just cast it right now to see to get information before I make my attack? Do I just attack with all three of these and then play my collective company like in combat? So maybe he blocks like this. I think that's probably my best play. Just attack with all three of these. <clears throat> I guess this doesn't actually change anything, because but I'm just gonna cast it mid combat anyway. Ooh. Voice and eternal witness. Hmm. Alright, so put them in the bottom. This, 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 this. And I have to witness back. What do I want to witness back? He's only thinking two here. This guy's dying. This guy's dying. Do I want, like, Flicker Wisp? Because Flicker Wisp can possibly, like, Force through damage past a blocker. It also just can rebuy an eternal witness anyway. I'll take Flicker Wisp. And I guess I won't play a land just in case he has Colagon's command to make me lose my Flicker Wisp. <laughs> But now I, eh, I can play the land next turn anyway. All right, we win. That was kind of interesting. All right, well, now we get to actually the sideboard. We get to use our sideboard cards. <laughs> Let's take out, oh, we are side, what the? Oh, we're sideboarded to 61, you can do that now. Oh, I just was accidentally sideboarded to 61, and I, I just didn't, wait, no. I drew Kitchen Finks that game. There were Kitchen Finks in my yard that game. I'm so confused. I got Thought Scout for Kitchen Finks, and now here I am. What's going on? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I want I want more witnesses. Witnesses were great. Um, my own clicks seem like they're probably pretty good. Flicker was also seemed very good. I don't even uh, everything's so good. Pride Mage seems like it's probably going to be mediocre given how his deck is set up with Colagon's command. Um, Dramoka's command does seem like it's probably better. Can also potentially like win fights against stuff. Dramoka's command is probably not going to be used for fighting very much. Actually, I don't really have that many things that fight. But it can prevent damage from spells. I don't know that he has. We saw that he um, he had power Cosm, I think, if I recall correctly. No. Anyway, um, we want only want two unified wills. He actually has a lot of creatures. It could actually just not not work, but I think it's probably worthwhile. Um, we'll cut. We got like one mana creature. He has Electrolyze in his deck. Yeah, I'm gonna cut an Abyssin's Pilgrim. I don't want to get Electrolyzed right out of the world, or you know, right off the off the map. I think having too many, um, too many uh, 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 mana creatures can be dangerous in these sort of matchups. The popularity of Electrolyze decks um, was actually a big part of the reason that I stopped playing eight mana creature decks um, like the uh, the Lingering Souls deck that I ultimately did end up playing at the last Pro Tour, um, the last modern Pro Tour, when you know, those sort of decks had fallen out of favor and Jund, Abzan style decks were much more, uh, much more the rage. All right, uh, this looks like, a, looks like a totally fine hand. We're gonna go ahead and keep. Definitely like these voice of resurgences in this matchup. Ooh, and a click. I like it. Well, hopefully our bird lives. Because right now we can't even play that click. <laughs> Ooh, so he's got a serum visions. Okay. He top topped. We're getting bolted. We got bolted. Not surprising. Um, so I think, here, we're going to do this. I'm going to go get a, um, take some damage, go get a Hallowed Fountain. No, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do this anyway, because we can actually, Hallowed Fountain, 
yes, and play voice. Oh, I should, maybe that was, eh, we may have just set ourselves up to not be able to cast. Noble Hire can't waste next turn, but I don't think, and maybe actually you just need to play island, or play planes there. I think I may have screwed myself over mana-wise. <laughs> Yeah, now I can't cast both of these. Now I, sh I should have just played planes and then done this last turn. For some reason, I was like, okay, well, if I draw a blue source, I can do this. Uh, this is bad. Now I actually can't even play Hierarch and uh, and hold it for Mocha's command. I guess I'm just going to do this. And say go. This this threatens like a lot of different things for him to you know be trying to splinter twin into. If he's just splinter twin me here, he wins. But hopefully he doesn't. He is not. Okay, we didn't even see splinter twin last game, by the way. So it's it's altogether possible that it's not in his deck. But I may have I may have really put myself in a bad position with this fetch. I think I, I'm going to keep bluffing something, at least for now. I don't feel comfortable tapping out against just, you know, this mana. Like, he can't do much into my voices otherwise. He could just play, like, a Karanos. Electrolyze, okay. Oh uh, god, I wish I had one more blue source, so I could V-click. But yeah, I, I don't feel like... Eh, we're actually kind of getting to the point that, like, he can play Splinter Twin with some sort of counter magic backup. We didn't see any Splinter Twins from him last game. Not even attempted, so maybe I should just try playing a Blade Splicer here. I do have the Dramokus command. The problem is that like I just have so like am I just gonna sit here and and just hold up Dramokus command? Because like if he just draws remand, you know? Like or dispel or whatever if he has uh if he has them in his deck, like I, I'm not actually able to to do, you know, anything about it. But at the same time, like if I play Blade Splicer, I can't even attack. So I am just gonna say go. We're gonna try and draw a blue source to be able to Vendillion click. That will at least potentially give us, you know, some information. He's just going for it. He's electrolyzing one of my guys. Okay. I could have plus one my guy and not let him electrolyze, but that doesn't really actually stop him. Because he draws a card anyway, and I need to save the Dramokus command. F fetch land up. Nope. Okay. Well. I guess we're playing this. <laughs> Any fetch land. My elemental is now dead. Township. All right, that's pretty good. Township does represent a lot of threat here. And means that each turn that I pass, like just sort of sitting trying to draw mana is actually, you know, worth a lot more. Another Vendillion click, okay. Well I'm not gonna attack now, there's no there's nothing to be gained from it. I could attack with like just the golem, but he would block almost certainly, and then having to tap out for, for Township is just too dangerous. What is his hand? It seems like it must be awful. Okay, well, he agrees and concedes. Oh my god, literally land, land, land. 
<laughs> that's that's insane. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, we win this one, and it feels to me. I mean, maybe maybe like the you know the Vendillion clicks like just mana wise are too tough. Um, you know, especially in a matchup where your your lands your uh, mana creatures are getting attacked. Um, by removal, because you know you, you don't have a basic uh, don't have basic island. Only actually have two blue sources outside of the mana creatures. So you know these kind of did get stranded here. It was a little bit my own fault. I, I think I, I think I shouldn't have used the fetch when I did. I was you know trying to open myself to being able to um, to you know play the Vendillion click if I did draw a fetch the next turn. But I ended up setting my my mana awkwardly uh, as a result because I couldn't play hierarch and uh, voice in the following turn. But you know it looks like we just you know. Kind of got lucky and our opponent drew absolutely nothing. This is literally what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven land. I mean, he did beat me in the Pro Tour, so uh, I think I got this, you know, at least small, small revenge here. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's go on to the next match.